Oh, Travis Wayne did sell. Alrighty. So, uh, this is a an update for you on the video I did today. Super Sacred Secret LDS Identity Reveal Mormon Moses Messiah. <clears throat> I want to get it done for tomorrow because I'm that kind of a guy looking for symbolism with dating, well, dates. <laughs> Striking out in the dating field, as my analytics also informs me, women don't like me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, <clears throat> uh, the return is, is going down a rabbit hole and wanting me to follow him. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one who I uh, uh, did a comment later on, probably Mormon haters gonna hate, is probably the one I did him on uh, with my reply. <laughs> He's responded, so let's go over that. Uh, he uh, said, you have never been mighty and strong enough to openly declare yourself to be the Mormon Moses Messiah. What is going to make this upcoming video any different? You still won't openly declare yourself. It will be no different than all your previous hinting and giving dancing around in circles clues, thinking people will magically say, wow, it's Travis Wayne Goodsell. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I think it was in the Haters Gonna Hate, where I talk about, uh, uh how, uh, people, uh, so it, yeah, man, Somebody else also, it was somebody else. So when, I have to look at the content, but I'm stuck on the channel comments. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, I'm getting the crazies of Mormonism coming out now. As uh, everybody gets triggered, I guess, when you say something like Mormon Moses Messiah. You start to get all the crazies. And way back in 2017, I still remember sitting with my home teachers, because we still had home teachers back then. <laughs> and I was telling them that uh, I expected to see a whole bunch of false prophets and false Christ rise up when all these signs begin to happen. I was somewhat wrong. <laughs> because the church has so effectively kept it all quiet. <laughs> and so nobody knows that these are the times and everybody, I saw a video yesterday it's a, an elderly woman who's Mormon. She's doing a video and she's talking with another woman, probably a friend of hers. And that was their video. And they're talking about, are we in the second coming yet? <laughs> with a question mark, literally. And she spends an hour and a half talking with her friend on this video. Uh, I didn't bother to listen in. I don't want all of her videos showing up on my home page. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, Mormons have to be thinking, are we, is it here yet? We've had signs, there are more signs, and, and things are happening, and it seems like it might be. Why is Nelson so quiet? <laughs> Why isn't he speaking out? and helping us with this question. Because if you remember, 
back in 2015 after three apostles bite the big one between the third and fourth of the tetrad that year uh, for the two years 14 and 15 uh, the church came out and said no these are not signs of the latter days <laughs> People are just speculating, trying to make money, <laughs> as the church should talk. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, the whole thing is just ridiculous. I mean, if anybody studies their scriptures, as I went over studying the Book of Mormon Tree of Life I demonstrate how to do simple basic study I don't go into the full study that I published as a scripture study manual I just gave you something simple Tree of Life so you Google search it you find videos and so you decide, well, I'll click on pictures. Maybe I'll look at some pretty pictures of Tree of Lives. And then you find a strange thing. If you can see the thumbnail, you can see what I'm referring to. But And so that catches your curiosity. And you click on it, and then you find strange words mixed with English. And then you check Ketcher and you find out that it's Hebrew and then you search further and find out that it's from Jewish mysticism of Kabbalah <laughs> it's every Mormon should be learning Kabbalah that's the tree of life that's being talked about in the Book of Mormon now I know Arthur the, my uh, ex-Mormon now back to Jew He's upset. <laughs> He's Orthodox Jew. Uh, Jewish mysticism is not Orthodox, but it does go back to Alphabet Ben Sarah of 600 AD. And he is accurate by using the exact same Egyptian Heliopolis creation glyph to talk about Adam and his first wife, Lilith. And so, uh, sorry, Arthur. <laughs> I know that everyone gets offended with me at some point or another. Whether you're Christian, ex-Mormon, obviously Mormon, but even Jew, even Islam, that's just the way it is. I don't cater to specific groups. I don't cater to ex-Mormons. That's why ex-Mormons have difficulty with me. Because I'm saying, Joseph Smith, good guy. You've been lied to by the Brighamite branch about him. And they can't understand. It doesn't process in their brains either. Just like Mormonism can't process anything. And so, you need to understand this. When I say Jew, as the Book of Mormon says Jew, it's the pre captivity Jews Israelites Egyptians it's not the post captivity Jews Semites who were assimilated by Babylon completely different religion completely different culture <clears throat> and that's what frustrates and confuses and angers and causes all my women <laughs> to flee <laughs> because everybody gets pissed I'm pretty sure I've angered LGBTQ one R I A C I've warned you guys don't let the bullies label you because now there's this thing called cucking that I'm hearing about because of some infamous religious leader 
who gets excited by watching his wife have sex with the pool guy. Doesn't he get a letter for your group? Yeah, you'd say no, but that's what conservative bullies do. They screw with you. They gave you the label in the first place. You chose to embrace it, thinking that that would show them, and you fell right into their trap. You should have demanded that you be considered human. So yes, people are going to be upset with me. Because I care about you guys. I don't want any of you suffering. And so when I say, Nelson's trying to murder you, you need to understand what murder is. And not get upset with me. Who, in January of 2020, came out and said, we need to make sure that the whole world does not allow this to accelerate and escalate, to spread and escalate, because this will be dangerous. And what did the whole world do? Yeah. How many millions are now dead? How many hundreds of thousands are now dead in America? And I was screaming at you guys, please! And you wouldn't listen. And Nelson refused to follow his Hippocratic oath as a medical doctor and leader of a church that he claims to be the only true church on the face of the earth. And how many Mormons are now dead? Almost 3,000. And you guys are upset with me? You leave my channel? You're pissed? Because I want to save your life? There's something wrong with you. And it's called the church that have brainwashed you. So, the return, after I made my comment, so, you received revelation from the Holy Spirit that I'm Him, the spiritual witness, and now you're mocking me. Here's his reply. No. My comments are science-based, are they? Do you even have a clue what science is? No, he doesn't. On scientific fact, not science-based, sorry, scientific fact, my data comes from watching your videos. Uh, so he's upset because he magically said, wow, it's Travis Wayne Goodsell, but I've never said the words, I love you. <laughs> I can say that. No women are watching. <laughs> oh. Googly moogly. Okay, I need to stop this because it's screwing me up. Get back to it later. So, what was the.
500 gig. I should have known better. My data comes from watching your videos. I guess he magically believed, wow, it's Travis Wayne Goodsell, because I didn't say the words. And I went over in another video, going over Alma 32, about not being compelled to believe. Because once you're compelled to believe, you're going to do what this piece of bleep bleep did. One of these days, I'm going to say it. <laughs> You're going to need to watch all my videos straight through to see if I do say it. <laughs> he says, I am using your words to make my conclusion. Um, so I said, I've never been mighty and strong enough to openly declare myself to be the Mormon Moses Messiah? Uh, one, and once again, you are running away from declaring yourself because now you don't even want to produce the video. I don't want to produce the video. I announced I'm going to do it. I'm here doing an update for you. I figured it out. The bus ride helped. Here's the notes. You're going to like it. I've got something fun planned for the thumbnail picture. <laughs> and I think I'll even give you a teaser, I think is what they call it for the movies. A trailer, teaser, whatever you call it. <coughs> Uh, and so, again, he's the one who believes that it's me, but he's upset with me because I'm not saying the words. You know, he has ulterior motives. I know this. He wants to laugh and mock and make fun of me because I failed. He thinks that I have magical powers and that I can cure the world's ills with the snap of my finger. Oh wait, no, that's Thanos who destroys the universe with the snap of his finger. Uh oh. So what heals the world with a snap? What is it? What is it? <laughs> Do you see what I mean? He purposely doesn't care. He's just arguing for the sake of arguing. <clears throat> that validates my comment into fact. No, no it doesn't. Just like the woman on the commercial who says, you can't argue with clinical proof. Yes you can. First of all, there's no such thing as proof in science. You confirm, but you don't prove. <laughs> so right away, you're lying to the audience in a commercial. But commercials have been lying to us for generations, such as part of a balanced nutritional breakfast. Oh, by the way, I do have my Lucky Charms ready for tomorrow morning for breakfast, and I also have my two boxes of fish sticks. <laughs> so, just to let you know, but again, he's still demanding I declare it. Should I keep pissing him off and refuse to say it? Should I refuse to say the words? Say you love me! Say it! You can't say it! You don't love me! <laughs> oh man, is Ariba McIntyre the greatest man I never knew? Or I ever knew? <laughs> Talking about her dad. Not sh he never said he loved her. I guess he always thought I knew. 
so you know I what I should do is uh, link him to this video which means I'll have to process this and upload this so that I can link it <laughs> um, so he wants me to say the words yeah you're an ass that's biblical that comes from um, Balaam, I believe it is, the prophet with the jackass that talks. <laughs> He's being very mean and abusive to the jackass, and then so the jackass then speaks and puts him in his place. <clears throat> but that's not the ass I'm referring to. He's the one doing the abusing. So it's just unbelievable the stupidity that he thinks I'm going to fall into. So again, he's claiming that I need to say the words, but taking me down the path. Because there's no scientific fact in what he's claiming. My words, he's seen my videos. Is he the one putting the thumbs down? Seriously? I should ban him just for that so that I'll have one less thumbs down on my videos. <laughs> I mean, he obviously did not watch my playlist about who is the Mormon Moses Messiah or whatever I call it. And I can get out of this now, I guess, since I'm going to link him to this video. So we'll go to my playlist. And... Seriously? You're only... Oh. 50? Oh, YouTube sucks big balls. A fire. Oh, Alright, so... LDS Crimes, LDS Lucifer Symbol. Personal. Some of these had intentions to be exclusive. But I, I found out that doing a new playlist fails unless I link it with other playlists. And then I realized that the planned intention for it uh, fell through. And, and so now I use it generally. But the original video or videos uh, refer to the original intended purpose. Like Jewish holidays, for example. That was supposed to cover all Jewish holidays during the year. That turned into, yeah, but also uh, talking about the Exodus, for example. Seriously, I have more than 50 playlists. Ugh, no wonder it takes me so long to select playlists. Uh, doesn't show? What's going on? Okay. Pre... See Baby Yoda, for example, for Baby Yoda lovers, that's now ending. That's over, right? The ring ceremony ended that one. That was just intended to be a short thing. And now I'm about to... Free oh, there it is. Who is Man Like Moses? And you can see Russell M. Nelson was the first video I did to show you it's not him. And so uh, that was the intention of that one, was to go over uh, how to figure it out for yourself. So has he been doing that? I mean, is he doing the same thing to Nelson? Is he upset with Nelson for not saying the words? Because Nelson is him, according to Nelson, by being the first president of the church, he's the Mormon man like Moses. 
that's why this is going to be so much fun because I can't forget I'm going to give you a secret clue thing here. <laughs> and if you've ever done <laughs> intellectual puzzles, uh, like uh, you are given a paragraph of clues of a, an event or a, a situation, and you're supposed to put in who did what. There's columns, and you're supposed to put check boxes to figure out from the paragraph who did what. Uh, that requires some intelligence. So the return. You need some intelligence because you cannot be saved in ignorance. If you can't figure it out without me saying the words, it's your problem. <laughs> That's going to piss him off so much. It's awesome. So, yeah, interestingly, the studying the Book of Mormon Tree of Life, it only has 21 views. But, six likes already. Which is more than the thumbs down, even. <laughs> and they're not women, apparently. I'll have to find out tomorrow, I guess, but nonetheless. Alright, so here's the teaser. I'm still debating on the title. Uh, but, yeah, I, if you, should I, yeah, Unbreakable by M. Night Shyamalan. In Unbreakable, you have the two main characters, Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson was born breakable. He had a rare condition where his bones easily break. So if he falls, he literally could die. Uh, and this has to have pins put in his body and, and uh, laid up in bed. His mother had to take care of him. She had to first deal with uh, people who thought she was beating him. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, it's just a nightmare situation for, to have uh, such a fragile kid like that. But he decides to be the villain in life. And as a result, he decided to be a terrorist. And his purpose for being a terrorist was to find the superhero to his villain. And so he was causing all these terrorist activities around the world trying to find the unbreakable Bruce Willis who because of of a, a car accident in which his girlfriend who he then married uh, was injured he gave up his football career claimed he was hurt in the car accident he was faking but it was not until He needed to be a hero. And then his son found out. And then his son wanted to test it and wanted to shoot him. <laughs> you see, I'm mortal. <laughs> Please don't shoot me. <laughs> and, uh,. And so you get the, what's now become, I think, a trilogy. I don't think there was the fourth one. There was um, there was a one in between that introduced a new character, and then they used him in the third movie, in which all of them came together and were all murdered in the end by this evil worldwide organization of psychologists. So anyway, yes, this is what I have planned. I, Travis Wayne Goodsell, the Antichrist, Korahor, the Apostate, the Evil One, the Deceiver. See, I'm not going to say the word, am I? <laughs> 
I'm saying the word that Mormons say I am, will take on the only one true prophet on the face of the earth, living prophet on the face of the earth, belonging to the only true church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Mano and mano. One on one. In case I messed up on the Spanish. Yes, that's what I plan to do now. Is to not just show how I fulfill that which I will not say the name. <laughs> but demonstrate that the one who is supposed to be in that position right now has failed. And it's a clean sweep. I mean, we're talking a slam dunk over him. We're talking a grand slam perfect game. We're talking about game, set, match. We're talking about a shutout. You see the sports analogy theme here? And so, yes, Nelson ain't got game. That's what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. The prophets ain't got game. They never had it. They stole it over Joseph Smith's dead body that they actually ordered and committed. So, there you go. Didn't say it. And so, yeah, people are going to be pissed. People believe in Jesus Christ. They believe that he's going to come from outer space flying on a horse. Mormons believe he's going to appear magically from outer space in a pillar of light at Adam on Diamond, receive the keys that he already has, <laughs> go over to Jerusalem, murder some people, and then come back to Jackson County, Missouri to sit on his throne in independence and reign as the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, for a millennial reign of peace. Only a numerous number of problems with this but the major one is, there is no temple and palace for a throne in Independence, Missouri. The church hasn't even bothered to break ground, let alone try to obtain the ground. The people who own the land will not sell to the church. And so thus it will never be fulfilled. And so the church has said, yeah, who cares? Temple Square is our headquarters. This is Zion. And if you can't see it beyond the inverted pentagram of our symbol, <laughs> then you're going to be sorry as they send us death threats and try to murder us with coronavirus. So there you go. There's the teaser. I'll even give you some more teaser of what's to be contained in it. Uh, let's see. That's the list. Uh, called of God. Who's the ones? Call, who's the one called of God? Who's the one? Who? Which source did did who receive keys from? I've already done that video. <laughs> it's the one with the thumbnail of President Nelson holding the the uh, rock keys, the statue keys of Peter. <laughs> Can't remember the title exactly, but it was something like they claim the keys of Moses with the keys of Peter, something like that. Uh, prophecies fulfilled so that's what I originally intended to do was just me fulfilling prophecies oh I didn't call the name did I return oops uh, the fruits of both of us Nelson's fruits so that we may know him 
Matthew chapter 7, which is in the Book of Mormon. You may know a false prophet by their fruits. So here's Mormon's chance. They can see my fruits. The return said he knows me by my words, not my fruit. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and so uh, prophet fruit, seer fruit, revelator fruit, translator fruit. Oh, we already know the outcome of this one, don't we? Oh, I've already wiped the floor with Nelson on this one. Oh, man. Ugly. Oh, yeah. It's a good thing women aren't watching my channel. It's going to get gory. <laughs> and then, of course, gifts of the Spirit. Uh... And I've got the theme song, If You Want Blood, You've Got It, ACDC. <laughs> Although it should be Rocky IV, The War. So maybe I'll do If You Want Blood for this one in the description below, and I'll do Rocky IV for the big video. But again, I have no idea what's how I'm going to get it done tomorrow. Uh, but it will be... I won't do the full prophecies. I'll do major ones that most people should know. And we'll try that. And so it should go quicker. I was hoping to do it today, but uh, there's some people here who have not received their $1,400 yet. And so because I have the only internet, I helped people out and figure out what's going on. <coughs> We still don't know. The, the IRS web page went down today. <laughs> so everybody's kind of confused. When are people getting their money? Who didn't get it last Friday or Saturday or whenever. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's go back to comments, see if I have anything more to... Okay, no. Just him. All right, there is Random Muse. He's always good for a laugh. Uh, Mormonism 101. That's another uh, uh, playlist, I think. Uh, mockery. The LDS bubble constructed of Colibian titanium serves as a deflector of things which make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, women felt uncomfortable and left. I warned women... Don't trust your feelings. You will be betrayed. You will be manipulated for your feelings. But they chose not to listen. They thought they knew better. And now they're causing death. Literally. And which might reveal further light and truth. Uh, 240? So that's in my hater, Mormon haters gonna hate. I do. Okay, so let's find out what that is. Do you like living in squalor? Do you like having to be? <laughs> Do you like having to be? I do. So we now gonna reenact Thomas Jefferson into the millennium. Give us Zion or give us death. Let them have Zion and eat it too. <laughs> awesome. Alrighty. So the return is just waiting. It was 53 minutes ago when he made that comment. I had just barely gotten home, I think. Maybe not. Has it been that long? Oh, man. Alrighty. This is 40 minutes long? Oh.